right, so we are here with my friend Netflix. What's up? And we're currently working on uh, Reaper Sketch Card Commission. Nice. Reaper is a character from Overwatch. Nice, nice, nice. A very popular video game. So tell me, how long have you been in the con scene for? Con scene, uh, this November will mark two years of being in the convention scene. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I started at Retro Game Con back in 2015, and uh, I'm gonna be ending this year at Retro Game Con um, in November, November 18th and 19th. Nice, 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 nice. So, <laughs> gotta love the con noise. Yeah, all that con noise. So, what is, What's your inspiration for for doing the sketch cards, your artwork? Like what what makes you all tingly inside and says I have to draw this? Ah, uh, you know, it just it, it all depends, really. I mean, you know, if I can make something look really cool or you know make something look you know uh, fairly badass, I'm I'm all about. Um, you know, um, I, like I look at a character, like a pre-existing character, and I'm like, oh, I love the way that they're designed, and I'm just like, you know what, I really think I could draw something, you know, based on them or that subject content that look really cool, so, um, as far as influences go, I mean, comic books, anime, video games, a lot, a lot of elements of uh, geek culture, um, I mean, I draw influences from from many, many, many places, so, um, any, anything, really, life, life, you know, I could see, I could see, you know, look down this aisle and watch, like, like a care, you know, a person walking down, and I'm like, man, that could, that could be a cool pose, you know, or a good still shot, so, it, it is, you know, if you can't if you can't get influence from all sorts of uh, aspects of life, then you know you really need to sit back and look. You know, and you're an artist, sit back and look and see what you can bring in from just out there into here. What advice would you get for a beginner artist that's too scared to start? Too scared to start? Don't be. Just jump into it. Like, you know, learn everything that you possibly can about about everything um don't don't be scared to start uh i'd say be scared to not start yes um because because if you don't you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs and yep. you know going nowhere yes. um i've had many times where i've been i've been at conventions for years now and i've always thought to start my artwork and to to exhibit at cons and it took me until last year this year to start actually doing it and i could have been doing this since i was 17. You know? right right yeah and, and it, i would have gotten better and better and better at it and that and that's where i was you know um i was doing uh i was walking around a local convention and i saw you know a kid a late teenager he uh he was doing this and i'm sitting there looking at myself like why am i not doing this mm -hmm. you know and finally, I just, I, you know, I pulled the trigger and, and did it. Like, and I, you know, talking about, I've been doing it for two years and I've definitely grown, grown as an artist in those two years. Uh, I started out my table was just two, uh, two portfolios of prints and now I have sketch cards, I have, you know, five by seven originals, I have, um, I have all sorts of stuff. Compare and contrast like this show, uh -huh. your best, your best display from your your very first show. Best experience. Like display. Display best yeah. display. This is probably my best display so far. Um, I had a lot of space this time. I had. Uh, I'd done some work for the promoter and gotten um, gotten uh, a table comp to me, and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just buy another table, and 
um, I decided to bring a little pop-up table as well that I bought for a show I did over the summer that didn't have that didn't have uh, you know a table available to me and um, I decided you know what I have the space for it I'm going to just make this the biggest biggest display ever now I mean, I've had other cons um, where it had like a very small small display and I managed to make them uh, make it work to being a really awesome display. It was, uh, it was a little compact, but it was very busy. Um, and like there was something to look at all over the place. Like, you know, some standing up, some laying down, something behind me, something, you know, just small, small to big. So, um, so great. I've got one last question for you. Yeah, what's up? All right, for other artists in the artist alley, what is your advice for when, an, for when a show doesn't go as well? What is your best advice for them how to deal with that? Think about, think about what you absolutely need to get to make the show go, go well. Mm -hmm. And um, be willing to, like, if you're selling prints, be willing to bundle. Like, be will, willing to bundle, maybe drop your prices a little bit. Maybe, maybe you're selling for too much, maybe, you know, Maybe you could get the extra sale if you know if someone only has 20 bucks and they wanted like $25 worth of prints. Maybe you could just take the 20, you know? Try to, I'm not saying to undersell yourself, I'm saying, you know, maybe take a little less because prints are generally profitable pieces. Um, so maybe just scale it, you know, scale it back a little bit. Drop your prices Sunday, you know, you know, do some deals, do sketch cards, two for 15, do um, pencil sketch, you know, quick pencil sketches for 10 bucks, you know, something quick, but something that, you know, that's cool that would definitely uh, be, uh, be something that people would enjoy and like. So, but it's, you know, something that's not gonna like cut yourself short as well. And I mean, that, that, I've done that before on Sunday shows where it just, you know, feels like all hope is gone. And, you know, I've got to turn the show around that way. So I actually know a friend who, who did that as well. Um, his name was uh, Cesar Feliciano. He improvised and took, um, took uh, the, the badges at a show and started doing like, like, Twenty dollars sketches or something on the back, and and they they loved it. So, but yeah, that's that's how you turn around a show. So, what do you think, bud? Awesome. 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 Yep. I have to sign up. Beautiful. Tomorrow. So. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We gotta make sure we do that thank studio. You. We gotta do that studio <laughs> drop in. Yep. This is my friend Nat Flint. You're gonna find all his social medias, all his website yes. stuff, everything yes. on the screen and in the, in the description below. And this is Pretty Kitty Commissions with my friend Nat. Signing out. Check me later. Thank you.